We continue now with our breaking news coverage. One person has been killed, seven others injured. So a total of eight people shot overnight in Indianapolis. Yeah, these is this happened between two separate shootings, both of those happening within just 10 minutes of one another. Fox 59's Hannah Fullman joins us live in the studio this morning with the latest from police and what they think may have led to the gunfire. Sierra and Zach, just like you said, a tragic night out there. Police tell us the shootings involved young people, many in their 20s, even some juveniles, with at least one juvenile being struck by the gunfire. We are still, of course, learning information as the morning continues, but here's what we know so far. The first shooting happened around 1:20 this morning in the 5900 block of Madison Avenue. Now, once on the scene, police found a total of five people shot here. One person was pronounced dead on the scene and four others were taken to the hospital. Police tell us the person who died is a male, but could not confirm if he is an adult or a juvenile. The four in the hospital are all under the age of 30, with two of them being in critical condition and the two others in stable condition. Police believe some kind of disturbance started inside GZ Club at this strip mall, spilling out into the parking lot, which led to the gunfire. Multiple firearms were recovered from the scene, and additionally, multiple businesses in the area have damage from the gunfire. Witnesses on the scene have been cooperating with police, which they say is key to finding the person who did it. Detectives are speaking with multiple witnesses who were on scene. We found that recently that we've been able to solve crimes because of cooperation from members of our community, and we're hopeful that that will be the case in this incident. And just 10 minutes after that deadly shooting, IMPD responded to another shooting, this time on the city's west side. This is in the first block of Edwin Court near the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Here, police found three people, two adults and a juvenile who had been shot. Police say one of the three people is in critical condition this morning, the other two in stable condition. Police are still looking into what led to the gunfire here, but believe some kind of party was connected to this shooting. Now at this hour, nobody's in custody for either shooting and police are asking anyone with information to come forward. As always, you can leave an anonymous tip with Crime Stoppers. That number is 317-262-TIPS. In the studio, Hannah Fullman, Fox 59 News.